happening everybody pizza holics I'm over here in Stapleton Staten Island baby across the street from me is Body's Pizza this place has been here since 1971 nice people inside two slices pie right out of the oven let's go eat folks We got two hot ones, piping hot. Ooh, it's hot. Look at that, right out of the oven, guys. It's looking pretty sharp, guys. Man, this thing is hot. Guys, let's give it a little bend. It's got some snap, it's got some snap to it. Right out of the oven, folks. Cool down a little bit, no flop, holding its shape. Off to a good start. A little pale, looks a little pale. But I've seen worse. Ooh, that sauce. First impressions, the sauce. Immediately, good sauce. These bugs are all over the place. Bugs all over the damn place. Where are these bugs coming from? Mosquitoes, gnats, they smell the pizza. Guys, with New York style pizza, I'm looking for a 7-5. A 7-5 from me for this style of pizza is pretty damn good. Again, I'm a coal-fired guy, I'm a wood-fired guy. I like the artisanal stuff. So if I give this a 7.5, chances are you may like it better than me if you prefer this type of pizza. And a lot of people do prefer this style of pizza over the pizza I prefer. So I'm looking to give a pizza a 7.5. When I go to places like this and I order pizza like this, I'm looking for a 7.5 because that usually means it's a solid damn New York style pizza. I rarely go into the eights with these. Uh, when I do, it's usually places like Luigi's or Joe's, you know? A little crunch towards the back. It's crisping up as you get towards the back. It's okay. Crust. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we move on into the lab where we analyze the pizza before us? And explore it before we score it, ladies and gents. That's right. Guys, I was impressed. A little impressed. As you can tell, guys, uh, look at that cheese-to-sauce ratio. That's a pretty damn fine cheese-to-sauce ratio for a New York-style slice, which, as you know, guys, they tend to be very, very, very heavy on cheese. The sauce gets lost under those thick blankets of gooey, low-moisture mozzarella. Guys, not the case here. Not the case. You can see that beautiful... 
brightly colored tomato sauce under the layers of uh, cheese and that's a plus guys you can this is a saucy slice pretty saucy dries out a little towards the end uh, but uh, I like the color of the sauce it's not that dark burgundy stuff that you get on a lot of slices out here in New York City uh, when it comes to this style of pizza again guys the New York style uh, the color of the mozzarella was pretty damn good. Never greasy, never a drop of grease hanging off this thing. Look at the color of that cheese. That's a beautiful color. It's not that yellow, that, that freaking uh, dark yellow cheese. You know, it, it's, it's, an, it's nice. It, it, it tasted good, mildly flavored, pretty decent dairy flavor. Nothing, uh, I'm not getting any hard cheese on it. I don't think they put any finishing cheese on this pizza i don't see any speckles of grated cheese there nowhere so if i don't see it on the sauce in the back i can't tell if it's there i didn't really taste too much saltiness from this cheese it wasn't the saltiest pizza in the world so that tells me that maybe uh there's no finishing cheese on it and uh, it's a little big of a deal for me you know me and my personal taste guys if you guys have been following me long enough you know what i like and you know I love me a nice herbaceous pizza. Look at the pieces of oregano on this thing. Maybe slivers of basil in the sauce. Look at that. A piece of tomato skin there in the back. Sauce was a standout. I wanted to give this a high 7, but it's not going near there. Because of the crust, guys. It didn't flop. But as you can see, it's quite pale. Didn't have... The, the biggest crunch, maybe the last two bites were a little crispy. And as you can see, it's still crackling uh, towards the back as it cooled down. So that's a plus. But it wasn't too airy. It was, I would have liked a nice, a better balance of crunch and chew towards the back. Uh, the aeration was, you know, it's a thin crust. So the, the air pockets are going to be densely packed. But uh, I would have liked a little more... A little more fluff to this thing. A little more fluff. Uh, as you can see, guys, you know, there's no leoparding or anything like that. And as you can see, there's very few goosebumps. Very few goosebumps on this crust, guys. So it's not the airiest crust in the world. This place was featured in a music video once. I believe the artist's name was Eamon. I believe he was signed with the Wu-Tang Clan record uh, label at the time, or uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Eamon used to be pretty popular. I don't know, I, I was never a fan, but I remember they filmed a video here, his video. Guys, that tomato sauce, again, look at that beautiful color. Uh, you know, not the freshest thing, it's dried out towards the back. Uh, I like it a little runny and chunkier, you know that. That's why I usually get the margaritas, guys. I'm a margarita guy. For a New York cheese slice, this sauce is way above average way above average good tang very very tangy had a nice robust concentrated tomato flavor little sweet but mostly savory throughout what do you say we give it the cold test and give it a score ladies and gentlemen it's about that time where we give the pizza another fold after it gets cold and test if this crust remains crunchy long after cooling down guys crust just fell short for me even though the cheese to sauce ratio was on point, I enjoyed the taste and flavor of the sauce in the end, guys. It just didn't have any crisp, and it lost all of it, guys. Check this out. Oh, my mic is on my shirt this time. I usually keep it on my tripod. <laughs> Pretty sturdy slice. Cooled down a little bit. It's getting a little floppy. I'm thinking 6-9 or 7-1. 6-9, 7-1. I'm in a good mood. I slept good last night. 7-1 for Bari's. Hey, in the end, it's flavor over crunch for me. I don't put too much emphasis on crunch, but if a pizza like this, this style of pizza, is going to make it into the seven and a half mark, or at least high sevens, it's got to have crisp. But you know what? Hey, at least it tasted pretty damn good. Good ingredients. Seven one, Bodies Pizza, Stapleton, Staten Island, a rugged lands of Shaolin, folks. Hey, if you're in town, train station over here. It's a beautiful old bank down the street over there. If, you, if you're in town and you're looking to get a mortgage for a new house, take a walk down the block and grab a slice over at Bodies there behind me. Well, folks, that about sums it up for this one, guys. 
Exceeded expectations. I didn't expect much. Place has been there since 71. The owners of the place are there at all times, keeping tabs, quality control. Guys, if you can, hit that like, smash that sub button. I really would appreciate it. It would do me a big favor. And if you want, hit the join button and have exclusive access to members only content. And until next time, keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio, signing off. Thank you.